News Extra. It is brought to you today by Gehring Civic Center. Here's Kevin Mooney. Thank you, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. We're going to discuss the Festival of Hope, the 12th annual Festival of Hope. It's coming up this Saturday over at the Scottsbluff County Fairgrounds, Mitchell Event Center, Dr. Vince Bjorling, and Ryan Windhorst are here. Of course, Dr. Bjorling, along with his wife, uh, Vicki, the founders of this entire event. And uh, uh, you guys have done a, just a super job. I don't know that we're the founders. I, we've been we've been participants from the beginning. But, well, uh, you've you've done a lot. We, well, thank you. A, a lot of people have worked really hard on this event. We we have a great board and we have a great committee, and they have, uh, you know, it's really become owned by the community, and so that that's the one thing. And I think the you know it was I think it was last year, the year before, I grabbed Vicky and we went out in the vehicle for her to really see the people out on the course. And when you see three or four hundred people out on the course, you really realize that we've empowered people to kind of help out family, friends, and neighbors. And I think that's the one thing that's unique about this event. And, and one thing that's really helpful is that everybody kind of has a chance to come in and play a role and help people out and and accomplish the mission that we're trying to accomplish so. all right for people that maybe just moved into the area or don't know or forgot tell us what the mission is uh, mission is uh, we have a couple of things but our primary mission is to really help out cancer patients and their families as they're undergoing treatment with the non-medical expenses um, when people are undergoing treatment there's a lot of financial stress and and sometimes the ends just don't meet very well so we can help them out with getting fuel so they can get back and forth to their appointments or sometimes we'll make a car payment a house payment pay the utility bills make sure they've got a phone so they can communicate with their providers doing those sorts of things really make a big difference and uh, just so they they've got enough you know money to be able to you know purchase the food as they're undergoing therapy and other things because a lot of times medicines and other things just take up all their disposable income so it really does make a big difference and in the 12 years we've been doing this we've um, probably given back about 1.5 million dollars to over 1100 families so it really helps out it's 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 one of those things where it makes a big difference. And the, the one of the, the things that we really like, and, and Ryan and I both said on the board, is is that to see people that have been helped in the past and now come forward and, and can help and and are out there supporting to the event, to giving to the event, uh, helping to raise money so that other people can benefit like they benefited from the funds in the past. Okay. Let's take a break. We'll get Ryan in here in uh, just a sec. We also want to talk about the butterfly sales as well right after this. With 20 years of legendary meeting success, high-speed wireless internet for 200 computers, Polycom video system on five jumbo screens, and the catering overachievers, the meat shop, cooking, you need to call. West Nebraska's premier multifunction facility for your next business meeting. Call 436-6888 or visit www.gearingciviccenter.com. The Gearing Civic Center, beyond marvelous. Back on News Extra this morning, we're uh, discussing the Festival of Hope scheduled this Saturday, the 12th annual, over at the Scottsbluff County Fairgrounds, Mitchell Events Center. And uh, as Dr. Bjorling said, uh, this wonderful organization helps with non-medical expenses for cancer patients and has uh, uh, helped out uh, 1,100 families already, $1.5 million donated to those families for non-medical expenses. We have a big list here. Uh, again, Dr. Vince Bjorling, Ryan Windhorst here. Ryan's a member of the board. we got a big list of uh, live auction items that are going to take place. Uh, that'll go from uh, what time? Uh, from what? About, uh, About 2.30. 2.30 to 3.00. Yeah, that's when we'll start. You know, there's a, there's also a list of silent auction items that we have, too, but we'll talk about the live auction items. So the first one that I'll talk about is a 2014 John Deere track mower donated by Roger and Connie Franken families, um, a great unit riding lawnmower. Um, the second thing, which is an amazing um, item here is an electric guitar signed by Eddie Montgomery and Troy, Troy Gentry, um, who obviously sang this past weekend here in, in western Nebraska. Um, we also have a signed football by Bo Pelini. Both of those items donated by the Cattlemen's Ball of Nebraska. Um, Fremont Motors brought 
together to us a 50-year commemorative watch um, from Mustang. So for those people that are, are car owners or Mustang enthusiasts, this is one of a kind. It's, it's one of a thousand. Um, so it's a great item. Trigger grill and a Yeti cooler donated by Johnson Cashway. Our Lazy Boy recliner donated by Weber's Furniture. A couple of interesting items, an antler bench and floor lamps donated by Pete Lapasotos and, and Jack Berg in memory of, of their loved ones. Um, we also have a golf outing at Wild Horse Golf Course in Gothenburg. Um, that includes an, an overnight stay donated by Terry Jessen and Diana Untersher. Sandberg Implement has a Honda mower. Um, Judy Shalupka and Mike and Marsha Green brought together a, a Colorado condo in Frisco. It's a five-night stay in Frisco, Colorado. So that'll be a, a great item as well. And that's uh, like next year, I think April 1st through November 1st of next year, I think, is when you'd use that. So you'd have time to kind of plan. Yeah, you, absolutely. If you got that. Some amazing artwork um, donated by John and Megan Massey. The Fisher Bistro, another interesting auction item. This includes 50 hamburgers and somebody to cook it for you. So if you would like a barbecue, come on out and, and um, bid on the Fisher Bistro. The last item, certainly not least, um, is a Trek mountain bike donated by Sunny's Bike Shop. So a lot of great items um, for the live auction you know, to help cancer patients in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming. All right, we also have uh, as well a whole uh, the whole thing starts at 7 o'clock. You have a Knights of Columbus breakfast uh, for $4 from 7 to 10. Uh, 5K run walk starts at 7.30. You have children's fun runs. A bunch of booths are open uh, from 8 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Variety of activities, a penny carnival. And then uh, entertainment throughout the day as well. And then, uh, Dr. Bjorling, you wanted to talk about uh, butterfly sales, which culminates the whole day. Yeah, one of the things that's really neat is we have a wall of hope where um, we'll have squares on the wall there. And, and uh, if you purchase for $10 a butterfly, they'll put uh, the person's name on that, and then that'll go up on the wall. And it just is a real inspirational thing for people to go by and, and to see that wall, to see the different names of people that either are fighting cancer presently or have fought it in the past. And uh, one of my favorite things is when people kind of come out and, and personalize those spaces, uh, putting pictures up or memorabilia or other sorts of things that just really is a very inspiring thing. And so um, at the uh, end of the event, we're going to read all the names that are on the wall and then we'll have the butterfly release. And uh, it, it really is very neat. It's very inspirational. And it's one of those things that, that really is the signature portion of our event. And so we encourage everybody to come out and, and to witness that. All right. And uh, butterfly sales, it's just $10. To $10 is what it is. And so it's just a great way to honor somebody that means a lot to you. All right. And people can do that right there if they want. Absolutely. And or you can go online. Uh, you can still go online to uh, at this point in time to sign up for the uh, walk run. And you can also purchase butterflies online um, at uh, festivalofhope.net. And uh, you can pay with your credit cards now which is something we've done differently this year so that's uh that's really a neat thing too and it's really helped people so they don't have to carry cash or checks around as well so all right all right you guys thank you very much dr bjorling and uh, ryan thank you guys uh, thanks, kevin. appreciate all your help thanks so much kevin to you and everybody here at kneb who supported our event so much through the years we really appreciate everything you that you guys have done for us no problem thank you